Expert Juddy James reveals to Meghan about the royal tradition. A body language expert has revealed how Meghan has transformed from just Prince Harry's girlfriend to poised royal in the space of five months. The former Suits actress, 36, looked more confident than ever as she joined Harry at the Commonwealth Youth Forum in London. Expert Juddy James explained how Meghan appears to have had some royal training, with her movements more precise than before. Examples of these include the bride to be carefully holding out her hand in a ladylike gesture, as well as showing preening signs in the way she touches her hair. While Meghan chose to keep Harry close during their first official engagement together in Nottingham in December, Juddy said Meghan has started to adopt more of a starring role as she kept some distance between herself and her fiancé. The son has got his hat on this week and Meghan Markle's dress was summertime appropriate as she arrived with Prince Harry to a reception for the Commonwealth Youth Forum. Embracing the warmer weather, Meghan had chosen an off-white dress by Al Jazeera for the occasion that felt casual with its pockets and split front yet sophisticated enough for a royal to be with a double-breasted button finish. The piece comes from the Al Jazeera Resort 2018 line, which was a collection that reimagined office wear, giving it a modern spin, as demonstrated with this pinstriped pick. Meghan often wears brands favored by the Duchess of Cambridge and El Chazara is one of them, with Kate being spotted in a blue polka dot piece by the label in 2016. Add in a sharp camellia and mark blazer, tomorrow melon heels in a bag by a rodent and it's our favorite of Meghan's looks to date. Want a copy? Click right to snap this exact dress up now, alternatively, shop similar striped options below by Urban Outfitters, Mango and more. Speaking to female, Juddy, author of the Body Language Bible, said, Meghan seems a more royal with these poses. When she first appeared with Harry on that wackabout in Nottingham she had a slightly touristy look about herself, she was learning on the job. She saw herself as Harry's girlfriend and was a lot more low-key. She seemed to recognize that Harry was the star, she was trailing slightly in his wake. Today she's a lot less spontaneous than she was, this looks a lot more careful, she's very upright, there are signs that she might have had some royal training. Juddy explained how Meghan's body language today, as well as her outfit, showed her establishing herself as more of an individual in the royal family. At her first official engagement with Harry, the pair had been a lot more tactile whereas in today's appearance Meghan proved her confidence alone. She's wanting to show herself off a bit more, her clothing has become less easy to wear, a bit more starry and regal, she said. She's slightly more separated from Harry, she's got her coat around the shoulders worn as a cape, so there's not much opportunity for hand-holding. The expert pointed to the fact Meghan was touching her hair in a preening gesture, as well as to show off her engagement ring. It's a signature gesture of hers, touching her hair a lot, she said, but now it's turned into more of a grooming and preening gesture. It also displays her engagement ring, which she's clearly very proud of. Juddy also pointed to the way that Meghan had been more of a listener when speaking to members of the public in Nottingham, whereas today, she took a more active role. She's picked up Harry straight, she's using more exaggerated hand gestures the body language expert explained. She's someone who's performing and entertaining a lot more. However, Jelly also pointed to a trait that isn't generally considered very royal mirroring the expressions of the people she's speaking to. She's got a more empathetic trait, she's mirroring the expressions of the people she's speaking to. It's a Diana trait it's something that she brought to the royal family. Harry is probably the one that's carried it on the most, 